I want to discuss about meditation. Meditation is a vast subject, an unending process. In a very simple manner, each individual understands meditation in his own way, depending on his environment, depending on his studies, depending on the other biological conditions, depending on family systems, depending on society, etc. In a, the the this the substance of meditation is keeping our mind in serenity and peace without wavering thoughts the one process is called as yoga one pro, another process is called as sitting idle not keeping any tensions in the mind third is constantly think in a peaceful manner and practice om kundali number 4 constantly close your eyes and relax your body number 5 avoid doing any other things sit calmly in a room number 6 sit in a floor have a mat and relax for 20 minutes close the eyes that is also one of the procedures there are different procedures not only six procedures you say totally different depending on the individual lot of books have come lot of research has come it is basically if a mental exercise wherein physical body takes rest but the mind goes on working constantly either with our notice or without our notice that mind which works subconsciously has to be kept in silence has to be kept in peace has to be kept in a solace position has to be kept in serene environment by virtue of our thoughts that is basic ayat of meditation individual apply in different matters but the results if it comes based on his individual policy then he can say that that meditation practice is right for him here also raja yoga is there yoga is there physical exercise is there walking is there etc different these are all some other kinds of little bit deviated subjects little bit interlinked little bit uh, combined subjects of meditation finally in a nutshell to keep our mind and thinking at a constant process to have a healthy and peaceful mind but how a person gets that during the process is a matter of concern to each one of us neither i can say neither someone else can say neither you will know what you want to do unless you get the results and then it applied in practical life with better prospects in general daily meditation for 10 minutes in the morning and in the evening will help the body to relax total energy system of the metabolic system and total st- less total uh, re- relaxation to the body and total refreshment and reenergizing our body which will invariably should help us to think properly to become active not to become dull and have a clarity of thoughts misconceptions misconceptions misunderstandings confusions anger jealousy frustration these are all some of the things which will naturally go away when we are deep into the meditation the deep in the sense not the time in the matter of the doing it is the quality of the thoughts which we control ourselves during the meditation process so 
due to the present day's mechanical world the need for meditation the need for the yoga the need for the exercises are little bit mandatory but the time and the duration and the type situation varies from person to person depending on the faculty on which they are doing depending on the situation they are imbibed with ultimately meditation will help us to relax our body with innovative ideas creative thinking spiritual quotient and re-energizes us every day with the relaxation of our body and mind which is the ultimate aid of a woman's soul so meditation is nothing but keeping our mind thoughts and process all in a unique and uniform way this way it help us us for betterment of our health wealth and community and our well well being also thank you so much